if you followed my previous tutorial where we built out this REST API. Firstly, thank you for watching. I hope you found the tutorial valuable. And secondly, you may have run into this module mongoose has no export member document definition. And the reason that you got this error and I didn't is because in my package JSON, I had the definitely typed package installed for mongoose. But mongoose version six doesn't require that. It has its own types. And so the types have changed. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. The fix is very quick. And I'm also going to show you how you can type your inputs without emitting all these values. So the first thing to do is to remove the import. And the second thing to do is to remove the usage of the import. And it's that simple. So if you ever come across an issue like this in the future, I'm going to show you how you can figure out how to fix it. So if we command click into this create method here, we can see the inputs that this method requires. So you can see here that we have all these different inputs that create will accept, and it is just a generic input. And so if we command click onto this dot contents, you can see that it just refers to this input here and it's actually a generic. So we don't need to define any wrapper for this. We can just pass in our inputs. So let's go and fix this for our user service. So I'm going to remove the import for document definition and then I'm just going to remove the usage of document definition as well. And that will fix the error. So let's go and fix this emit here. So if we come into our user model, you can see that we're exporting user document and on user document, we have email, name, password, created at, and all the fields. So let's create a new interface for user input. So I'm going to say export interface user input. And then I'm going to move the fields that are required in user input up into user input. And then for our user document, we can just extend user input and mongoose document. So now if we come back to our user service, instead of using user document, we can just use user input. I'm going to remove all of this here and I'm gonna put user input. Let's do the same for our product service. So I'm gonna come into my product model I'm going to export a new interface called product input. I'm going to move all the items that I want on the input up into product input. And then product document is just going to extend product input and mongoose.document. Let's import this into our product service. And then I'm going to change this input here with a MIT to our product input. So you may be wondering, should we use product input down here for our queries? And the answer to that is no, because product input doesn't include the created at or updated date, and you may want to query on those fields. So to test that all of our types are working, we can build our application. Let's come into package JSON, and I'm going to add a build script here. I'm gonna say build, and my build script is just going to run TSC. So I'm going to type yarn build. And you can see that our build has finished and therefore all of our types in our application are correct. So if you want to apply these changes to your code base, I'm going to create a patch that you can apply. So to create a patch, I'm just going to say git diff and I'm going to name the patch service inputs.patch. And if we come into our code base, you can see a patch here that's going to have all the changes required to fix those inputs. To apply the patch, you just need to type git apply and then the name of the patch. So this is called service inputs.patch and then you'll press enter and the patch will be applied. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.